Nani will act out your mother go made a strong case on the need to celebrate the first anniversary. <laughs> My people don't be small mad. <laughs> hey, you don't get it. We'll be go see for keto. But before I go proceed with the gist, I could like go on short break. Me could not sit down. J J J. Are they come? Welcome to Orange TV, a platform where we'll keep you updated on trending latest matters happening in the world of social media. So if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, turn notification bell to get on the fire when we drop any video. And to all our amazing returning subscribers, thank you so much for your massive support. We do not take this for granted. And to all our viewers, feel relaxed, enjoy, and stay tuned. Nollywood actor Uche Madago made a strong kiss on the need of celebrating divorce anniversary. <laughs> Taking from his Instagram page, Uche Madagu stated that celebrating divorce should be normalized and people should stop making it look like a funeral. <laughs> he said, divorce isn't a sign of value, but a celebration of bravery and freedom. Hey, <laughs> my people, you don't get to a to forget to. So he about that people who don't celebrate their divorce anniversary are being ungrateful to God because many people are still in bad and unhappy marriages. <laughs> my people, in his words, make a read them as it talk and me say, we need to normalize celebrating divorce and stop making it look like a funeral. Divorce is not a sign of failure. It's a celebration of bravery and freedom. People who don't celebrate their divorce anniversary are being ungrateful to God because so many people are still in bad and unhappy marriages that they are unable to work out of. So if you are lucky enough to work out of a marriage that does not bring out the best in you, please celebrate it because it takes a special grace from god to achieve that freedom <laughs> by people that be small matter it get the marriage where they celebrate or oh, not be all marriage if you celebrate honestly but what we should rather talk about is how many persons that are really unhappy after divorce how many of their children that are poorly raised due to divorce most divorce has vast effects on partners Except for physical violence and continuous adultery, it is possible for partners to put aside pride and work on their marriages. Serious. The marriage's vow means something old. <laughs> Not be waiting person go take the joke. Apart from violence, so why can't humans who once prophesied love not able to sit together and make it work again? Quitting is not the way out all. If one person or one parent is disease is understandable because quitting has negative effects on everyone most especially their children so it's essential to encourage and support friends or family you know going through divorce rather than celebrating their sadness there is nothing to celebrate there divorce brings sadness no matter how you view it because if we start celebrating divorce like that <laughs> nobody go remain for marriage oh. If you make it a trend to celebrate it once, <laughs> marriages go crash. That means people won't even try to make their marriages work. Once they feel any small discomfort when it's not violent, so they will quit. Unless it's an abusive situation or marriages, then flee. <laughs> My people run. Because it's really okay to live an abusive and unhappy marriages, but there's no need for celebration. Honestly, few days back, that is when celebrities barman Pascal Chibike, popularly known as Kubana Chief Priest, sent a warning to intending couples. Because with the rate of which celebrities' marriages are crashing these days, eh? <laughs> My people don't be waiting mad feet talk. Now I make Kubana Chief Priest not going issue PSA to any couple who would be inviting him to their wedding. <laughs> so he admonished the couples to always consider the money, the time, and the energy people invested in their wedding before calling things off or quitting the marriage. So laying down his rules, he said that if any couples invited him, to their wedding and their marriage hit the rock. <laughs> they will refund him or they will refund him his time, his money and his energy. He wasted at their wedding ceremony and they are going to sign an agreement. Oh. <laughs> there must be an agreement in case the marriage hit the rock. So he has an evidence to present. That is the agreement later. 
Because not only that later if you make them refund the money. <laughs> My people don't be small, but uh, so I guess I go like no way to think about this issue in the comment section. I go like hear from Mona. We have come to the end of today's segment. And if this is your first time of watching my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and also turn the notification bell to get notified when next we drop in new videos. Also, follow us on Facebook at Oranges TV. Please don't forget to like and share this video. See you guys next time to like, come here again. And thank you so much for watching. Do stay blessed. Bye. For, for the part that um, a video of me about someone pay me 200k, you know, to make that video. Are you people that dumb? <laughs> Are you people that dumb that you don't even understand the chemistry that went there? You put some of you. That's why. That's why I I just cannot have a conversation with some people because I feel like you are that dumb that you don't you don't even understand what chemistry is. You don't. You can't even use your brain and think. Put one and two together, make it equals to what? Is there any evidence? I want I want to understand. Was there any evidence of you know at least proof of payment slips, at least proof of chat message that went on between me and the the and, and person that sent me with two hundred k to frame person? There's no such evidence like that. And you people don't know what happened behind cameras, you know. You know, you just you just accepted something. It's the same mass that told you people the first one. It's the same mass that told you people the second one. It's the same mass that he told you people that two hundred k, say two hundred k, without no evidence. And now me, I'm also seeing interview where they said I told someone shut up. What the word called shut up is something I use once in eight years, because I hardly in my lifetime tell someone shut up. I advocate, I always stand with, if you know me, you always know I always stand with, say your mind, speak up and speak out, because if I come for you, so I've never you told anybody shut up, I saw where they said I, our uh, uh, social media lawyer granted interview where they said I said shut up, I told someone, I've, ne I've never told anybody shut up, please I want to see the proof of such. You know, I want to see somebody that oh, I have to say so, tell someone shut up because that's not me. Whoever told anybody shut up, that's not me. I don't use the word shut up. That you shouldn't even believe somebody that will tell you I said shut up because I don't tell people shut up. If you know me, you know I don't use the word shut up. That you know, say that's that's fuck up. There's evidence of I've never had conversation with anybody or telling anybody shut up or even reply anybody. So where are all those things coming from? And the part of 200k, I want to see evidence of such.